Hey there, BC WrestleBot fam. Thank you for joining us again from the Wrestle Show in New Jersey. I'm starstruck right now. I got AR Fox here with us right out here. Thank you for joining us today. Yes, sir. Uh, oh, thank man. you for having me. kind of chasing around the con a little bit, saying hi here and there, being a little awkward, which is always fun. But um, as a fellow of Connecticut native, thank you for your Yeah, man. As well. um, I do want to ask you first, you know, you came from background type of, like, of uh, backyard wrestling. Yep. Do you feel that benefited you in any way coming into the pros versus someone with like an amateur background or something? Yes, I think backyard wrestling uh, helped me out a lot because in a way, even though we're not getting taught no psychology or anything, got my trainer and all like that we kind of are learning all um, um, like uh, damn i hit my so i hit my bang my skull for a living so uh give me a break um it's okay uh one of our hosts adult over here also has a buffering problem so it's okay yeah but it's like you you learn like uh timing and stuff like that it also helped out with like uh memorization and stuff like that and um almost in an indirect way how to like uh protect yourself no, not not too much because we were just not the whole time to protect ourselves. No, no, no. But when you do get when you, when something hurts you bad, you know you, you, you learn from it. You know what I'm saying? So I, I think it helped me out. I was bumping like flat back like on the grass, like I don't, I don't want to say perfectly, but just you either fall on your back or not. And I was back bumping on like grass, like, you know so. I caught on to a lot of stuff pretty quickly. Found your body, kind of found out where it was going to be in space, all that stuff? Yeah, and then I just got had to get taught that um, just like, uh, oh, the left hand goes here, right hand goes here, left foot goes here, the right hand goes here. Just got to learn that for, like, all the technical moves. Yeah. And all the cool moves, if you've seen them a lot, you probably could do it. So you're saying you're stealing from everybody else and just taking it as they go? Uh, Yeah, kind of, pretty much. I'm trying to put my own little twist on it for the most part, but um, but that's you know. what we appreciate here, and we love seeing you when you can invent new things like that. And yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That's my whole. I did a seminar with Jimmy Jacobs, and he told me, told me you could be better, worse, or different. And I think Rick would say also tend to be something like. I remember looking around and being like, "Huh, he's the flipping guy too." Like, shit. I think I'm gonna go with uh different. And I just said, all right, there's a cutter. I'm going to do it off the second rope. There's a, there's a suplex. I'm going to spin with it. I spin this fly, but I'm going to sit with it. And I was just like, you know what? I'm going to do everybody's move, but just a little different. You become your own then because you're making better. Yeah, yeah. And then other people steal it. Well, you know, but I appreciate that. As weird as that might sound, I appreciate when my moves get stolen and get used on a big stage because that just – because now I know it got green lighted yeah. for the biggest stages in the world. So that means that I I, I had something to do with it. You know, if you're taking them, give credit back because somebody deserves it. Was, you know, hey, you know, I'll give my credit in, in time. You know, I mean, you know, it's all good. I don't, you know, some people are real, you know, some kind of writing stuff, kind of stuff, you know, get taken. But me, it's like an indirect compliment. Like, you know, like, um, you know, like, uh, to me, like, I think, like, Eminem's, like, the best rapper. You know what I'm saying? And, like, you know, I want to be the best wrestler. I don't think I'm close to that yet. I don't think I'm that far. But, um, so, like, when somebody steals my little move or whatever, I would feel like, I feel like Eminem if somebody steals one of his lines. It's like, I'm just going to come up with another one. Like, it don't even matter. Like, you could have one. If you really got to take mine. You know what I mean? You just got in your back pocket for more that you can work with. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, and you say you're not there yet. That's a great mindset to have as well because you're always learning, always coming up with new things because we're a teacher too. Is that what you tell your students as well? Like they're not perfect yet, but they're going to get there at some point? Oh, uh, yeah. I, mean, I You know, it's, it's going to sound uh, uh, a little weird, but yeah, I don't. Um, I'm training Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I get, they get, um, yeah, if it's not just kind of kind of soft, you know, training. When they do their practice matches or send me their matches back, I don't really compliment them. Okay. Because that'll just make them uh, stop. If I say, oh, man, that was awesome, that, that don't give nobody no type of motivation. So I always, even if I do have like a damn near perfect match, I'll be like, yeah, but you did this. So that they're not content with what they, had, what they did out there. So, yeah. Keep on the toes, but also know that you're supported 
because you saw what they did and they can do much better. Yeah, yeah. I try to let them know that, you know, you could always, you never stop learning. You know, I mean, you never stop learning. I'm learning every day. I'm learning right now, all of us with you here. So it's a very uh, good thing. Uh, one last question we did have because all of us are on the road quite a bit as well. Is there a, like a comfort food or like a restaurant you go to that you just have to recommend to anyone in any city? Well, it's always my favorite food and I eat it every day. But the red sauce, I don't know how much more my body can handle. <laughs> in Atlanta, they just, just bob it on. So it's also awesome. Oh, and it just wreaks havoc on my just entire front of my body. So, yeah, um, Chipotle and, uh, you know, that's kind of hard to eat sometimes and not too good to digest on the rest of the day with free workout and energy drinks and Coffee all morning. Um, so then I might switch it up to KFC. Sounds good. Get the, uh, the, the famous board. If you're in that KFC, you know, sponsor somebody here. They get a couple things for them. Well, Chipotle, Chipotle, Chipotle be getting my money every day. So Chipotle, if anybody, you know what I mean? They're, they're the ones I, I want to work with. <laughs> hey, Air Fox, we really appreciate you being here with us, taking the time. Is there anything you want to promote for the upcoming stuff? Or just is it the TV itself or anything else coming up you're really big about? No, man. No, I just want to say, man. Uh, well, I just want to shine a quick little light. I don't want to be too long, but my student of mine, Reggie Rage, was killed in a senseless act, man. This guy was tweaking. He was on drugs. He was an ex-cop that was on leave. And he was being a lift driver. And his dreams got cut short. And more eyes need to be on that case reggie rage thank you thank you for saying that out there and we definitely will keep that out there as well i hate to ask one last thing here yeah on our podcast we tell our audience to stay biconic because we all are you know together on this one oh, yeah. give us a stay biconic yes stay biconic Air fox everybody thank you for watching out there we'll see you later